know if you can hear me. My voltage regulator has gone out on my alternator, which can happen. And when I get home, I'm going to show you how to replace this, hopefully. But I had to ad lib a little bit. I was basically cut off uh, last night when the power died. So I put my two auxiliary batteries together. I've got a jumper cable running out the window to the battery in the front, which gave me enough power to start it. That has me three batteries hooked together. And so far I have gone about 40 miles. I'm down to 11.4 volts. And uh, I've got about 25 miles to go, but I think I'm gonna make it home instead of having to have this thing towed. When I get home, I'll show you how to replace that voltage regulator. I doubt you were able to hear, hear me very well when I was driving a little bit ago, but I lost alternator power last night. Um, driving 200 miles from home and all my system started shutting down when I got to about 9.6 volts and uh, I pulled off at a mall that was obviously closed. This was uh, about 11 last night. Sat there in park for about two hours. Uh, the battery naturally increased to 11.8 volts and I was able to start the van back up and I made it another 15 miles maybe uh, was parked outside of a Bass Pro Shop. I spent the night there in the van and uh, texted my wife, told her what was going on. She was already asleep of course and uh, then this morning about 6 I got up I was back to 11.8 volts again. I was thinking, you know, let's see how far I can go without lights on. Uh, and I made it another 15 miles, probably. Well, <clears throat> did some research. It's either going to be the alternator or the voltage regulator. The voltage regulator is easy to get to, so that's what I'm going to try first. Or not try first, but that's what I'm going to check first. <coughs> I don't have to take the alternator off to get to the voltage regulator. But in this process, uh, I really didn't want to do it 60 miles from home. For one, I don't have any tools. Uh, so, you know, while I'm sitting there waiting for my battery charge, I, I was thinking, and, well, I had two auxiliary batteries in the van, so I hooked them up together, ran a jumper cable through the, uh, the window of the truck, I still got the one end here and I uh, hooked it to the battery in the front and hooked the other end to the auxiliary batteries and uh, because the auxiliary batteries are deep cycle I made it another 45 to 60 miles with three batteries hooked up home and I had 11.3 volts left when I got here. So uh, right now all I'm doing is waiting for the engine to cool down. And when it does, I'm going to go down in here. This is coming off. Uh, there's a resonator below that that's coming off. And then I should be able to get to the voltage regulator, I think. And uh, if so, that voltage regulator is maybe 90 bucks so I might be able to get this thing handled for 90 bucks without having to replace the alternator uh, that's my fingers crossed hoping it's a Monday but you know what I made it home and uh I can't ask for anything better so we'll check it out here in just a second
All right, right there is the resonator that I've got to take off. It's got clamps there also. And then once that's off, the alternator is going to be where that pulley is right there. And it's going to gain me a little bit easier access to get to. So uh, first thing, just get this hose out of the way. You saw it was a 30 second job. Hey, I wanted to finish out this video and um, instead of just replacing the voltage regulator on the alternator, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a new alternator in. The existing one was a 90 amp and because I'm going to use this as a camper van, I'm putting a 200 amp alternator in. The thing is, I've had to order the alternator. Uh, so I've got everything apart, that also means I have no power. And unfortunately, we have Hurricane Florence coming to bear down on us. So I have the windows covered. And uh, this won't be touched probably until after the hurricane. So, But we'll get this episode up going to a 200 amp alternator in the camper van so that I have more power and... Pray for North Carolina, pray for South Carolina, pray for Virginia through this storm, but we'll see you next time. Have a good one.